okay so let's take a look at how you can set up swift on windows so if you go to official swift.org you will find that official page looks something like this and if you click on downloads page it will show you the information that looks like this so when you download the installer for windows you can get it on desktop so along with that there are some of the conditions that you have to watch out for so let's say in case of windows if we scroll for those things there are dependencies git and python so we will open our command prompt of our shell and we will see if we have git or python so what i will do i will type in python and also check for git as well so python double dash version then git double dash version and both of them are installed next additional dependencies being windows sdk and visual studio or visual studio sdk and build tools right or so what we can do here is we'll take a look at those dependencies so if you go to official visual studio page where you can download visual studio 2019 or 22 for windows which is the latest version download the community edition alternatively you can also take a look at build tools where you can see uh, remote tools are not what we are looking for instead this build tools for visual studio if you download this it will download one installer similarly you can also download windows sdk from archive choose the latest SDK for Windows 10 if you have Windows 10 if you have Windows 11 you can download the respective SDK right so I will go through all of them one by one the first thing that we will do is we will go through build tools right and then we will go through SDK both of them are not related so we are good to go so let's start with build tools now if we click on visual studio installer clicking next we have 12 mb of setup being run now this should open one window where we can check the dependencies that we need okay so let's move here and check the files required and here you see we need component which is monads vc tools which is build tools and then sdk along with that there is also c++ cmake tools for window right so let's check that right so we have build tools right and next we can also take a look at individual components and search for them so let's see c++ c make and if we search for this we get to choose that then we can also choose Let's see build tools. So we already have build tools here for 2022, and this one is specified for 2019. So we will go with the option as well. Then we go for Windows 10 SDK and we can choose the SDK's version here so we don't have to run another installer so let's go with the recent SDK 203 so where is 203 so 203 you also have Windows 11 SDK so you may want to watch that out for right then you also need to let's also take a look at 
Visual Studio component VC tools, right? So we will search for that. Let's search for build tools. So let's see if there is any specific build tools selected. Okay, so you have build tools selected for recent version. So there is also option for R, right? And with 32 bit edition, right? So we'll just choose the one with the latest, right? So we have our build tools, we have a Windows SDK, C++, CMake, right? And also MSPC, right? All of this would require 4 GB of space. So we will have to also select install while downloading, right? And then hit install. And you will find that the progress for your installation of build tools 22. And there is also 2019. Okay, which is I think previously installed with the specific version and there is update available so I will update them if required but first I will go through all of these setups one by one okay once installed it will ask you to boot up to clean the remaining files okay click OK then next thing is you can now close this and make sure to run your swift installer which will basically install the uh, command line version of swift and we can also check for swift for windows so what this will do is it will basically allow you to run the compiled code Now next thing we will also install Swift for Windows so basically it will allow us to compile the Swift code if we want to use through this particular GUI right so here you see setup will install Swift for Windows 2.0 on this particular folder let it install and once installation is finished what we'll do is we will try to make sure that get to access the swift through command line as you can see uh, here you just point to the swift file then compile it and then hit run to run that program right so we'll just close this for now and open terminal to verify whether we have swift installed so let's take a look at that right so type in swift then double dash version and as you can see you get swift version for windows listed if you can see this that means you have swift installed now that we have installed swift also verified it on command prompt that it works next thing is to open video studio code and we will also have to set it up for reading our code right so with extension make sure to search for swift and hit enter and choose one of the extension and then install it so that you will be able to use the language features properly you get to understand if you are making mistake or not right so once Visual Studio Code is set up with such Swift extension next thing you can do is check for developer mode so go to developer settings open it and here as you can see if you go from your settings home find developers so for developers here you see install apps from any source including loose files then there is also device portal right device discovery you can ignore those things and 
tick to developer mode turn it on you will see turning on developer mode including installing running apps from outside could expose your device to risk so turn it on considering you will have to use it right there is device discovery and device portal you can ignore it for now we can get to that part later one more thing you can type in swift on command prompt hit enter and let's wait to see what it shows currently it won't show anything unless you pass something to it right here you see swift double dash help will show you the list of options that you get with the command prompt right so you may have to go through some of these options like swift build then swift run then swift test so basically swift test is what you would be using when it comes to setting up your demo applications for test run so it does both build and run test within that so these are some of the typical beginner settings you should be doing for running swift code on windows